It's no big secret that getting approved for Social Security disability benefits is very difficult. The process is so tedious that most people just give up. But there is a way that you can drastically increase your chances of getting approved. Hey, I'm Devin and this channel is all about breaking down Social Security so you can use the rules to your advantage. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click that notifications bell too. And everyone ought to hit that like button. Let me show you something that's very interesting on disability approval rates. I took the data from the Social Security Administration and I studied two things. First, how many people actually get approved? And second, at what level in the process do they get approved? I took all of their data and condensed the percentages down to examine the results on 100 average individual applicants who met the basic non-medical requirements to file for disability. So these individuals had already met the work history requirements and things like that. Here's what I found. For every 100 eligible disability applications, almost 33 people were approved and slightly more than 67 were denied right at the initial application phase. So anyone filing for disability benefits shouldn't get their hopes up about being successful at this level because two thirds get denied. The next level is the reconsideration phase. Now I find it so interesting that of those 67 people that got denied, only a little more than half of them moved to the reconsideration level. So we started with 100, a third got approved, a third moved on to the reconsideration level, and a third just quit. Now, it could be that these individuals quit because they knew their chances of approval at the reconsideration stage were pretty pathetic. This is likely because the Social Security Administration is not looking at your application to see if you're disabled or not at this point. It's just a second set of eyes to make sure everything was done right the first time. Only about 10% of those who move to the reconsideration level are actually approved. And then there's the next level, which is the hearing level and all the little things that happen beyond that. Unfortunately, there have been even more that have given up between the reconsideration phase and the hearing level. Of the 35 individuals who were denied at the reconsideration phase, only 23 made it to the hearing level. And that's too bad because this is where things start to change. More than half of those who make it to the hearing level and beyond are eventually approved for benefits. So the question is, why? Why is the approval rate so high at this level? Does the system reward you for sticking it out and not quitting? Nope, that's not it. The real reason is that more individuals at this stage have professional help. According to the Government Accountability Office, individuals with an attorney or advocate at this level were approved at a rate nearly three times higher than someone without professional help. So if you're committed to getting this far into the process, you really need to get someone to help you. Just, you can't get anyone though. You need someone on your side who is intimately familiar with the way this system works. You, you just need someone who's an expert in social security disability. This may take the form of an attorney who does this or a disability advocate. And that's someone who specializes in social security disability benefits, but they're not necessarily an attorney. Now, I am not an attorney or a disability advocate, but I know some folks who can help you with this. In the description below, there's a link to a short disability benefits evaluation. And it is very short. There's 11 or 12 yes or no questions. Once you successfully complete this, someone who specializes in this area is going to get in contact with you to discuss your case. Again, it's all down in the description below. If you're on a mobile device, just click that arrow on the right-hand side and it'll drop down to uh, show the description area too. Now you may be thinking, Devin, I can't afford to pay for professional help. Those guys are expensive. The good news is attorneys and advocates who help you with disability benefits don't typically charge unless they win. The general amount they'll charge is up to 25% of your past due benefits with a maximum of $6,000. Now you have to be sure and double check with the person you hire to make sure that's how they charge, but that method is pretty standard. And one last thing, be sure to share this video with someone who has struggled with the disability process. This may be the information they need to change their life. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.